Jay Felly's Uber rating is better than mine, and he got banned from Uber because what is ex girlfriend? I imagine. Yes. Okay. She once <laughs> took a ride on his account and and stole the charger from the driver. Yep. Oh. Now again, my got, Uber rating. And then I got Uber thrown rating, in there somehow. It, my Uber rating was four five four two years ago. I have now since boosted it to four five six because I am on my best behavior. And last week, you told me that you're able to. You are able to look at your your ratings, yep. sort of like you know when you look at a podcast that's been rated five exactly. stars, four right, stars, right, three right. stars, two stars, one star. You're now able to see what your ratings have been throughout your ride history. Now yeah. I had over 225 star ratings, and I had 16 one star ratings. Horrible. How many one star ratings have you had? I had four. Four. How many number one star ratings? I think have you I had one. I had six. And you've been banned. <laughs> Shouldn't and banning be like count for multiple one star ratings? You would think. I have sixteen, and I'm like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> so many. And I think my one was because I had to cancel a trip. Until I had a conversation with uh, my wife. My, my wife. wife. <laughs> and apparently, she's had some uh, impact. Uh oh. We talked about it last week, Jim. We talked about it much Damn. against the your advice of counsel. <laughs> you said don't do it. Wasn't my first idea. So joining us here on the Rich Eisen show is the one and only Susie Schuster. What's up, Susie? Hey. Hey guys, first of all, that whole my wife thing is really annoying. Listening, <laughs> 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 find that whole my wife thing so annoying when you guys all chime in and you think you're charming, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah, but it's no? from it's from Borat. It's yeah. funny. And we can't stop I know, now. But I, I know, but it's it's I think I think it's served its purpose. No? Well, here's the deal, Sue, is let's not lose focus on the task at hand here. <laughs> Susie's trying to deflect right now. No, it's all right. I, I think she just doesn't like, she doesn't like the, the fact that I'd be the Borat in that situation. Right, Susie? Or you're just the well, we're wife. All, we're all doing it. But Susie's not just a wife. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I, I think I've, I've gotten that one down pat. But at any rate, long story short, Sue, is you have the floor here on okay, the subject. Let me set matter. the scene. I'm hiding in a corner of a toy store on Madison and 80th. So there you go. Wow. That's number one. <laughs> number two, Chris, thank you for being the attorney and the head of HR at Rich Eisen Show. You're welcome. I do appreciate that. That's no problem. <laughs> number three, I did make the mistake of dipping into the comments. And for those of you calling me a Karen, um, <laughs> thanks. That's three. And then fourth, let me ask you a question. Yes. And I happened to ask this of my Uber driver yesterday when I was Charming to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> you two are the perfect pair. Okay, yeah, yeah. Say that I, I don't know. I've been wearing the same perfume since I was fifteen. Okay. Oftentimes, players would say like, "I knew you were in the arena." They would. That didn't mean I was like drinking it and stinking it. But they're like, "Oh, you smell great. I, I knew you were here. I could smell your perfume." Okay. If I'm getting dressed up to go out for the night, and I put this effort in, and I step into an Uber. Mm. That smells like it's been dipped in the stink that Kramer found in Jerry's car. <laughs> when the valet yeah. took it away and he never was able to sell it. No, I'm actually okay. I'm right in. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting in trouble in the store. Um, so that Uber stinks because the guy's got so much cologne on. If I go to get out of the car at the event, I'm going to stink like Jerry and Elaine did when the great Nick Bakai <laughs> wouldn't hug her because she smelled of the stink. I don't want to smell of the stink when I get it. So I've been known to say, oh, my God, I can't. Also, I get headaches from the smell because sometimes I do get a headache. It happens. It's called something like an oral headache from a stinky car or third situation. Okay. Say that you get into a car and we're spending money here, kids. No, no. And it stinks of cigarettes. And I know I'm going to get out of that car and I'm going to stink like I've been smoking at 3 o'clock in the morning and yeah. I did a couple highballs in Tribeca. So, so I don't want to stink. I'm allowed to say, excuse me, can I put the window down because it stinks uh, in here? So you're not denying your expression of olfactory issues oh, within that, an that Uber. My, that's what I meant. Uh-huh, olfactory. Uh, okay. Absolutely not. And okay. I think I should be able to, but you guys, are you guys just parading around trying to get a good Uber rating? I mean, it's also Riches. a business. Like if, I, <laughs> if I do a show and, I, and, I, and I'm awful, you guys don't want to watch, right? 
Mm. So why would it why would it be okay for me to get into an Uber that stinks of cologne, that stinks of cigarettes, <laughs> and not complain? Yeah, but I think it's just it's like business. outwardly saying, "Hey, it stinks back here." You know, just be like, "Hey, do you mind if I put the window down?" Eh, there's ways around it. I mean, tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, a one star rating. Do okay. you see what also, I'm saying? Also, Rich. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I, I I appreciate that you are continually throwing me under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you do appreciate it. I'll be honest. Radio, television, simulcast. Higher your, track. I'm glad that I'm your. You know. Um. I don't know. Give me another expression. I'm your what? I'm your. No. I'm. You, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm your. I'm your punching um, bag. I'm not. No. No. Miss Manners beard. Uh huh. Of a better word. Oh. Okay. Look at that. All right. But you're, you're you're loud in the car. You talk on the phone a lot. Maybe you're just a, a noisy guy to be in the back seat. She has a point. I'm a loud so, talker? Is that what it you're is? You're on the you're phone a, a lot. Loud you're talker. on the phone a lot. But I pace. I'm not allowed to pace in a car. Right. You know I'm no, a pacer. You guys, he gets pace. so annoying. He paces all the time. Oh, guys, can I ask you a <laughs> he question? He's doing it this morning. This up to the <laughs> Greater Rich Eisen um, Appreciation Club. Yeah. Am I wrong? Like, do you like getting into an expensive car that's Jinx of all high heaven? No, nobody does. But you, you can't just insult them to their face and expect to get she a five-star rating. She didn't insult them. She didn't insult them. She didn't say you stink. Hey, it stinks okay, back no, here. I told you. A little bit no, I told you. I told you. It's it's an audible like, oof, oof. Okay, and also, <laughs> may, may I make a point? I would never insult somebody to their face. Of course I not. have a great respect for the fact that they're doing their job. Yes. It's like the, it's like people who are rude to waiters make me insane. Yeah. Or bus boys, even worse. That makes me so enraged because these guys by the way not only usually speak three or four languages go to an italian restaurant every bus guy speaks three languages like they're speaking spanish english and italian i i don't like people who are rude to people that are in a, a situation in which they're of service oh i've seen so i've and i've driver, seen i've seen this and i've i've seen this uh in action no doubt about it yeah i get enraged okay I think that's just the lowest form but i'm telling you right now mm. I'm spending a ton of money. Say say that we're feeling fancy for the night, so we get like a, a, a nice black car. Ooh. Or even like, God forbid, an SUV. And you get in and it stinks of high heaven. What about the responsibility for that driver? Hmm. Am I supposed to pretend this is great? I'm spending a lot of money. All right. Well, um, I guess. Um, Understood. We hear what you're saying. Uh, and, and I'm going to hang up, and you're going to continue to throw me over the bus. No, the bus. never. Okay. I love you. I love you. I would yeah, never whatever. do that. I would never do that. Yeah, whatever. All right. Oh, whatever. See you in New York, Susan. <laughs> Guys, can't wait to see you in New York. It is gorgeous out. It's like New York is showing off today. Awesome. Nice. Well, we're, well we, we are showing up in New York. We are excited to be there. We'll see you soon, Susan. Can't Take wait. Care. Bye, guys. All right, there you go. That's Susie Schuster, everybody. What what more evidence do you need? <laughs> I think it's I think it's shared blame, like a rod share. Yeah, I mean you're probably responsible for half the ones, and she's probably responsible. Guess what? For the other. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. She's on her own. No, we're gonna be doing it. We're we're we are buttoned up. Oh God. But if you are driving, <laughs> do us a favor. Don't shower in Jacar Noir and add a little bit of the Paco Rabanne on top of it. Pine tree. Oh, my God. Yeah, and the pine tree. Yeah, just easy on the pine tree. Easy on the pine tree, everybody. <laughs> but I'm serious. The roll went. She never insulted the guy. Just you were aware. No, no. It's the roll of the window and down. Then, uh, and the oof. Yeah. And yeah. then maybe <laughs> right. from the back seat to me, a little bit audibly. Do you smell that? Right. <laughs> Do you smell that? That's happening. <laughs> Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.